the Miami, Ohio Redhawks. Now, I have talked on this show last year, and and if anybody has listened to us before that, uh, the year before that, Chuck Martin has been doing this a long, long time. And he is a fantastic coach, but he's old school, uh, basically uses gravel as uh, as chewing tobacco. Like, that, that's the kind of coach he is. Uh, they are projected to go 5-7 and seven per SP+, 6-6 six and six per FBI. Returning production number 18 in the country. What did you say the total was? Total is 5. Okay. Yeah. Returning production. That sounds right, by the way. Number 18 in the country. They're returning 89% of their production. Quarterback Brett Gabbert, of course, that's Blaine's little brother, uh, returns with all but two starters on offense, and they brought in running back Isaiah Bowser. Good old Northwestern boy. That's right. Defense returns 10 starters. They are really good against the run. They are really bad against the pass, uh, and they play a bunch of passing teams. True. The schedule is brutal. Their road slate is just stupid. At Kent State, at Ohio, at Ball State, at Eastern Michigan, at Army, at Minnesota, at Cincinnati. I don't think they win any of them. So I am going to go under. They are a projected favorite in only three games this year. Now, they have a good enough team to be able to squeak some of those out. Yeah, I was about to say, they'll win more than three. They'll probably win less than six, though. That's why I'm going under the five. Uh, The juice is minus 115 to the over and the under. So I'm going to take under five at minus 115. I want this team to be better. I, I like I, I like Miami, Ohio. I don't think they are. Even with the returning production and whatnot, I don't think this team is set up to be able to compete with these other teams that throw it around as much as they do. Yeah, you're probably right. Man, I like Bowser. I'm, I got to go under, though, too. They're going to have a hard time finding six wins. Yes. And I think that's their ceiling if they do. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's, therein lies the issue. I mean, when your non-conference is, is Cincinnati, Minnesota, Army, yeah. like – I mean, what are we doing? You know, that Army game might end in an hour and a half. Oh, it really the might. way both those teams play. <laughs> they don't do. They never throw the football. They just run it, and they're not going to run out of bounds. Chuck this Martin and and uh, Jeff Monken are are two really crotchety yeah. old men. Yeah, if you've got, if it. you want to make like like a dinner <laughs> reservation, you're going to make that reservation if yes. you go to that game. Game starts at five o'clock. We yeah. got reservations at seven. Oh, we'll you're there. Fine. Yeah, you'll be out of the parking lot by then. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.